Greetings presentation prisoners, blessings on this Friday. Quite a rainy week we've had this week. I hope you have been uh, spending a little time indoors, maybe getting some things done while we've been dealing with all the rain. Uh, a little change of venue for our video, somewhat due to the rain. Uh, so we don't want to move equipment around in the rain. So here we are. So hopefully you enjoy a little change of venue here. This week we have some exciting things going on in our parish. This weekend is the kickoff for our annual stewardship renewal. So this is a time for all of us to prayerfully reflect on how God is calling us to use our gifts in service to others. So everything we have, everything we are is a gift from God and we're called to, to give back by the ways we share it. So use this time of stewardship renewal. This is the kickoff weekend. We'll be focusing on the, the whole idea of stewardship. The next few weekends, every registered parishioner household will receive a mailing about making their stewardship commitment for the year, but take it seriously. This is an opportunity for us, really, first of all, to recognize our blessings and then uh, focus on ways that we can share those blessings with others. Also this weekend, we have new parishioner receptions after the 4.30 p.m. Saturday Mass and then the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Sunday Masses. So if you are a, somebody who has joined our parish in the past year or so and have not attended one of these previously, this is a great opportunity to meet some of our staff and learn about things happening in our parish. So we we'll hope you'll stop by uh, after those Masses if you are a new parishioner, especially in the last year or so. Also remember you can continue to support our youth who are attending the National Catholic Youth Conference in November through the Stockton Youth. You can contribute online, so you can go to online giving, choose Stockton Youth as your drop down option and give them, give them something. So it's a great way to encourage our youth and their faith as they go to this national conference with you know, 20,000 or more other teens from around the country. Uh, you can also just make a contribution, mark it accordingly, and we'll make sure it goes to support our teens. Also remember next weekend, next week is an important holy day. All Saints Day is November 1st after Halloween, All Hallows Eve. I'm sure everybody has lots of plans for Halloween, but remember the next day for us is really important. All Saints Day when we celebrate all the holy women and men uh, throughout history who are we believe now are with God and have been wonderful examples for us. So All Saints Day, we do have Masses for the Holy Day at 6.30 a.m., 8.15 a.m. with the school community, and then that evening at 6 p.m. So that's all Wednesday, November 1st. Also, November 2nd is All Souls Day. Now, it's not a Holy Day of Obligation. We do have our regular 8.15 a.m. Mass, but we do encourage you to get your All Souls envelopes turned in sometime this week before the following weekend uh, because we'll, we'll, we will process in those envelopes and remember all those listed on our All Souls envelope, envelopes the weekend of November 4th and 5th, which are also our Remembrance Masses. So on Sunday, November 5th at the 8 a.m. and 10 a.m. Masses, we will have our Remembrance Masses. But also get your All Souls envelopes in, and we'll, in a special way, pray for all those on those All Souls envelopes. And remember that following Sunday, I'll remind you in my video next weekend, uh, next week, I'll, that we do have the night's breakfast that morning, even though the Chiefs are playing uh, over in Germany on that Sunday, November 5th, we'll have the Chiefs playing at the breakfast, and we want people to come for the Remembrance Masses. So have a blessed week. We hope to see you this weekend. We'll all get really re-energized in that whole idea of stewardship and go out and share our gifts fully. God bless you. Have a wonderful weekend. Amen.